Hey all, today we're going to be dealing with bond valuations and yields. The setup that they give us is a bond has a par value of $1,000, pays $30 semi-annually, and has a maturity of 5 years. The first question we're asked to solve is, if the bond earns 8% interest per year, what is the price of the bond? Anytime you're dealing with bond valuations or even any type of time value of money problem, you always put together what I call the structure. Your structure is always going to be number, rate, then you're going to go with your payment, present value, future value, and the last thing I always put down is compound periods. Once you have your structure, the next thing you're going to do is you're going to identify what you're solving for. And this problem right here asks us to solve for what is the price of the bond. So the price of the bond is going to be what is the present value of the bond today. So we're solving for present value. And I will always highlight this in yellow. This tells me what I need to solve for. Next I start plugging in all my other um, input variables. For number, they tell us five years, and we're going to want to keep this as a number. Our interest rate they give us is going to be 8%. Payment, they tell us $30. Future value is what's the bond value at the end of, end of the uh, maturity date. And our future value is going to be a thousand. And our compound period is going to be two. So they tell us semi annually. So we're going to put a two. Next thing we need to do is we need to make sure all of our inputs are either semi annually or annually. And we need to, since we're solving semi annually, we need to make sure all our inputs are semi annual. So our number is five. That's not, that's annual. We need to make it semi-annual. To make it semi-annual, we're going to take the 5 and we're going to multiply that by 2. And again, we're going to put this as a number. So that will give us 10. Our interest rate annually is 8%. We want to know what that's going to be semi-annual. So we're going to take that 8% and we're going to divide that by 2 also. Our payment is already semi-annual, so we're going to leave that alone. So once we have our structure set up, and then we have everything adjusted to reflect a semi-annual basis, we can now solve for the present value. The present value formula in Excel is quite simple. You press your equal sign, type in PV, open up a parenthesis, and the first variable they ask for is interest rate. We're going to click on the interest rate, hit a comma. Now they're asking for number, so the number of um, periods. It's going to be the 10. Now we're looking for payment. The payment is the $30. Future value is what we're getting back at the end of the at the end maturity date. So we'll keep it there. And hit the parenthesis. And this gives us a present value of $918.89. Next thing we need to solve for is going to be what is our yield for maturity if the price of the bond is 918.89. Again, we're going to do the same structure. I'm going to make a copy of the structure. I'm going to put it below. And we are going to now solve for the yield to maturity. The number, it's not going to change, we're going to keep it at the 10. The interest rate is actually what we're solving for, because this yield to maturity, yield to maturity is always an interest rate, so we're going to put that, we're going to highlight that in yellow. Our payment is still 30. Our present value, we're going to pull that from the problem above, it's going to be the 918.89. Our future value is not going to change, it's still going to be a thousand. And our compound period is going to be two. 
Next step is to make sure that we have everything semi in semi-annual basis. Our number we pulled from up here that is reflecting the five years on a semi-annual basis, so that's 10. Our payment has always been on a semi-annual basis, so that's fine. And our present value should be negative, because that's money going out. And the present value is the present value, and that's um, not going to be affected by how we're not going to change that. Future value is fine, it's still 1,000. So now we're going to solve for interest rate. To solve for interest rate, you're going to type in equal sign, R-A-T-E, open up a parenthesis, and then we're going to click our number of years, or number of periods, and we're going to hit a comma. Then we're going to click on our payment, hit our comma, then ask for our present value, and hit a comma, and then the future value, and close up your parenthesis. This is going to give us an interest rate of 4% on a semi-annual basis. We need it on, what is a yield to maturity? We want this on an annual basis. So we're going to make the adjustment, and we're going to take that 4%, and we're going to multiply that by 2. And this gives us 8% is our yield to maturity. And this is checked because our 8% is what the rate started off. We started with an interest rate of 8% up here, and it yielded us a present value of, of 918. And all we did was we used the same inputs, and we solved for our interest rate, which gave us the 8%. So that is how we find our present value for a bond, and also how you find your yield to maturity. Hope this helps everybody, and look forward to working with each one of my students at a later um, date and time. Thank you.